for science and math is an example of how to upgrade public education in low-income neighborhoods. CNN correspondent Tom Hendricks reports. In East Harlem, surrounded by crime and poverty and fear, there's a new sense of serenity and academic confidence. The school has been transformed. Just over a year ago, its absenteeism rate was one of the highest in New York. Its graduation rate among the lowest. Now it's called a national model. X could be one. X is one. Y is four. Y is four. It was changed to a junior high school. All subjects are taught, but the new emphasis is on math and the sciences, particularly computer training. Now the, um, the markets are really for learning jobs that use computers and, and things like that. So it'll help, it'll help you a lot because it'll prepare kids now so they'll learn um, how to use computers so when they grow up they won't have to be retrained. The children, bright but not considered especially gifted, are learning at an incredible speed in all subjects. In our seventh grade, uh, we only have seven out of 90 students who are not reading above the 12th grade level. There is time to unwind, but the school day is unusually long. The math and science emphasis translates into more courses. Some courses even help put food on the tables. The lettuce and other vegetables are school grown. We have um, tomatoes, cucumbers, we have lima beans. Um, we have strawberries over here as well. The main function of the school greenhouse is a botany lab. Perhaps most remarkable is the minimal cost of the program. Apart from startup cost, it is no more expensive than any other city school. The intense but individualized instruction officials say has made the most difference. You get a group of students who are really turned on and staff that's really turned on and they build something very special for themselves. The school principal says the only problem is whether high schools can keep up with the students' needs. There's a real strong need for technological education in this country. The uh, Japanese said yesterday that by 19, the mid-1990s that they will have the fifth generation of computers and they intend to be the world leader in computers. We intend that that doesn't happen. While increased public funding is not the key, involvement by industry is. More of all types of donated equipment are needed, officials say, before the program can be expanded or copied. But here in the heart of Harlem's ghetto, the small program does seem to be working. In fact, the school has even changed its symbol from a pair of basketball sneakers to a bank of computer terminals. I'm Tom Hendricks, CNN, New York.